Hello Primary 5, welcome to our session. Today we will talk about dividing decimals by whole and dividing decimals by decimals. First, we have 5.5 divided by 3. This is called dividend, division side, divide side. Dividend, we'll put, we will put it inside and the outside is the divisor. Divisor here is one digit and is a three. So we know the timetable of three. If we don't know it, count by three. Multiple of three. Every time add three. Like this. Zero. Three. 6, 9, 12, 12 plus 3, 15, 15 plus 3, 18, 18 plus 3, 21, 21 plus 3 is 24, as you see. Now, we will divide digit by digit. 5 divided by 3. We are looking for exact 5. There is no 5. We will take a number close to 5 but smaller than it. Like what? Yes, 3. So we will take 3 to put down under 5. 3 at which number? Count. 0, 1. At 1. 1 will put up. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now, we will drop the next digit. But before dropping 5, we have here a point. Put it up. Put it up. And drop the 5. We have now 25. We are looking for exactly 25 in timetable 3. There is no 25. So we will take much closer number. We have 21 and 24. Best 24. At what? At 8 count. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we will put it up. Now we will make minus between them. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 2, two is 0. 0 on the left has no value. Now we will try to cancel this remainder by adding 0 from us to the right of the decimal part. Here is the origin, point, uh, origin problem. has no zero. I added here zero to cancel the remainder and drop it down. Now we have 10. 10, the first number is 9 at 3. Count 0, 1, 2, 3. 10 minus 9 is 1. Again, we will repeat the step. Add 0. And drop it down. We have 10. So we will choose 9 at 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 is already written up. We will write 9 down and make minus between them. 10 minus 9 is 1 and so on. This long division has no ending. So I stopped at this quotient. My quotient here is 1.833 and this is called infinite division. Means has no end. Okay. 
Now, a decimal dividend divided by a whole divisor, but here the divisor consists of two digits. As normal, we will write down uh, the dividend here and outside the divisor. And we are here in timetable 15. We didn't know it, so we can multiply by 15. Every time add 15. 0, 15, uh, 30, 45, 60, 75, and so on. Now we will take 58. We are looking for exactly 58. There is no 58. So we will take much closer number here is 45. At what 45? So I will count 0, 1, 2, 3 up. Yes, add 3. We will write 3 up. Now minus. Start from the ones. 8 minus 5 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now we will drop the next digit. But before dropping 0, we have here a point. Put it up. And then drop the next digit. We have 130. Now looking for 130. There is no 130. Which number is closer to 130 but is smaller than it? Yes, 120 down. At uh, which number? Count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 at 8 I write it up and 120 down make minus 0 minus 0 is 0 uh, 3 minus 2 is 1 we have now 10 drop the next digit 5 we have 105 we yes we have here exactly 105 but at which number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 at 7 and minus uh, 0 0 0 and our quotient of this problem 3.87 we have ended this problem happily okay now dividing decimal by decimal but first in this slide we have a whole dividend divided by decimal divisor doesn't go decimal divisor the divisor should be whole so we will try to cancel this point to cancel this point in the divisor we can multiply this divisor by 10 why 10 because we have here only one digit in front of the point and also we will do this action with 32 multiply it by 10 or move the point to the right of the decimal move the point just one step one step one step you can solve this problem by multiplying or just move the point to the right to cancel it completely and whatever you will do with the divisor you should do it with the dividend now the problem changed into 320 divided by for now the dividend whole and also the divisor is whole divide now as normal dividend written down and uh, divisor out 
we will take digit by digit. 3 divided by 4, but here doesn't go. 3 is smaller than 4, so we will take the next digit, 32. We are in multiple table 4, or you can count by 4. Every time add 4, 0, 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, so 8, 8 plus 4, 12, and so on. Now we are looking for 32 exactly. Yes, we have 32 down, but at which number? Yes, 8. We will check 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, 8. I write my quotient up and down the next digit, 0. Now divide. After drop, divide 0 divided 4 0 divide any number is equal 0 I write 0 up so my final answer is 80 now decimal dividend and decimal divisor concentrate on the divisor ignore the dividend now concentrate on the divisor divisor here is a decimal so we will try to cancel the point by whatever multiplication or move the point uh, to the right but how many digits if we move the point to the right, we need the point to, to set here. So, how many moving here? Yes, two. Two. Or, if you want to multiply the divisor by ten or, or hundred or thousand, you will choose hundred. Why hundred? Because here, the point has two digits in front of it. This action or this step we will do it in the dividend too. Take the dividend and move its point two steps to the right. So the point will sit here. Or take the dividend and multiply it by the same 100. As you see, I move the point two steps to the right to make it whole. Now, the problem is changing into 11.34 divided by 18. That's what I need to make the divisor whole, whatever the dividend has a point or not. Now, we will make a long division. Dividend inside and divisor outside. We have here 18, so we will count by 18. Every time add 18, start from 0. 0, 18, 18 plus 18, 36, 36 plus 18, 54, 54 plus 18, 72. 72 plus 18, 90, 90 plus 18, 108. Okay, now 11 divided by 18 doesn't go. Yes, two digits divided by two digits, but the dividend two digits is smaller than 18. How come? How can I divide 18, 11 divided by 18? Doesn't it? Oh, we will need more. So we will take 3, but before taking 3, we have here a point in the middle, put it up, put it up, now 113, we are looking for 113 here. We will take 108 
much closer number to 130. Because the number after 100, it is bigger than 130. So the best number is 108. 108 at which number count? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at 6. So we will put 6 up. Subtract. Start from the ones here. 3 minus 8 can't be. We will pour 1 from this one so it will be 13 13 minus it is 5 it's 5 here and 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is zero. now drop the next digit is 4 so my number here is 54 looking for 54 where is 54 here? yes we have here 54 at which digit Count zero, one, two, three. We will write up three. Fifty four minus fifty four. We have end the problem, and our quotient is up zero point sixty three. Zero means zero hole. There is no hole here in, in our answer. Okay. The important point of the lesson is to make the divisor whole by multiplying by 10 or 100 or 1000. Okay? I hope you understand our lesson today and see you soon. Bye-bye.